Hey Lewis, uh, this video is for you. This is uh, <clears throat> the um, well, what I came up with for a uh, kind of an all-in-one defense. Um, I just uh, finished training, so I figure I would uh, film this for you today, since I'm in my gym anyway. So <clears throat> what it is, basically, like I said, is um, it's kind of like a cover mechanic, but at the same time, it's an an offensive maneuver rather than a purely defensive. Um, it doesn't really matter what the attack is. I don't really wait, like I said, to see what the attack is. I, I wait to see movement, and then I move. So I guess I'll just show you right from the uh, right from the front front view. Um, in uh, boxing, obviously, you know that when you um, do a jab, you cover. Um, your jaw with your shoulder okay, when you want to punch. So um, what I've done is I've <clears throat> I used to do a cover like where I would be, let's say I was in a passive stance or f some sort of fence, whatever, and the guy would attack and I would come forward and block like so. Doesn't matter really if it's a straight punch or a round punch or whatever, a tackle, I'm always dropping low and I can deal with my attacker afterwards. Um, what I've discovered is that what's better to do is I combine, when I do this now, here, I take this arm and I cover my side of the head here and I take, depends if you're a southpaw or not, it would differ, you would want your right hand out and your left hand back. But I have my right hand right by my head, it's like, a, like you would block, like you would block a hook in boxing, similar to that, okay? So I have that here and as I come forward, I blast the palm right at the guy's face and as you can see, if I move around a bit, I'm pretty covered up. So as he would punch, wham, nail him. And then you can follow up with whatever strikes you wanted. Oh, almost dumped my mirror there. But <clears throat> that's the kind of premise. I'll show you from each side. So let me see if make sure I'm in view here. So from here, it would look like this. Do it slow, like that, as I extend out, drop my head, bring my right hand up, and again, from the other side, make sure I'm in frame, okay, and drop forward, give you a look at that, come back, drop forward, come back, drop forward, come back, from the front again. Up forward, back, up forward, and then it's really good. This hand, since it's already out, can anchor onto anything the guy has. As whereas here, you'd have to grab something from here. But since it's already out, sometimes you can anchor on the back and that slam strikes into the guy or shred him or whatever you like to do. <clears throat> so. That's that. I'll show you on a, uh, a bag now, okay? Okay, so now I have my uh, law dummy here. Sorry I don't have a uh, partner today, but that's the way it goes sometimes. So, um, I'll just show you kind of on here what I'm talking about. <coughs> so if he were to attack you, okay, um, if you do that cover, his arm can still kind of go around part of your body and maybe anchor to you. However, if you do that stiff arm palm strike to his face, he's, the power in his punch would be gone because he just got nailed right in the face, okay? Now it depends, you could like uh, accidentally you know, hit him in the throat or on purpose, if you like that, I do. Or you get him in the eyes, you know, as soon as he um, comes in for his attack, you get him right in the eye or whatever by, you know, you're not really aiming, but your finger could definitely slip in there, full power, and uh, he'd be out. Or not out, but distracted, and then you could follow up, because an eye poke usually doesn't end a fight, but it'll uh, make him think. So, um, and like I said, also from um, the cover mechanic, you can wrap an anchor and slams, strikes home, or whatever you like to do. You know, 
elbows. Peace.